பாருங்க தர்விஷன் Hey guys welcome back to another new video I am sensible stuff and I know how to make your day awesome just hit that red subscribe button below to get 100 years of good luck and if you are already subscribed you are having a good time but the thing is only 2% of you are having a good time by the way you saw the intro clip and if that is how you play valorant just stop no don't stop playing stop playing like that at low fps laggy and freezy game but how to do that right so i am there to help you and without wasting much time let's get into the video so uh, the first step is for both intel and nvidia users let's go for intel users first if you are an intel user then just open your web browser and type gameplay.intel.com once the site is open just click auto detect systems but in my case the thing is i am using a ryzen processor i used to have intel on my previous pc and current laptop so i did the same thing on my intel laptop and pc once it is detected it will tell you how much ram you have and which version of intel processor you are having after that you can just search here valorant there you go just click valorant and when it detects your system it will automatically tell you which settings are perfect according to your system specifications and it will provide some screenshots of the in game settings and also there will be a optimization package so you can go and download that and in case of nvidia users you can just right click and go to nvidia control panel and you have to adjust some settings here I'm not showing what settings exactly because I have already made a video on that. You will be seeing that on the top right corner right now. So once you watch that video, obviously watch it after this video, then open GeForce Experience. If you do not have GeForce Experience, you can go and download it from the link in the description. Once you have GeForce Experience, it will list all your games, and you will see Valorant. Just hit details and it will tell you what are your current settings and on what settings can you play right now so what you need to do is just hit optimize or if you want you can change some settings here and after you are okay with that you can just hit optimize here and if you don't like the settings you can just click revert but in most cases this optimizing thing doesn't really help out but give it a try if this works nice If not don't worry there are other steps Now another thing is just right click and hit display settings scroll down a bit until you see graphic settings Here now you can just hit browse and select Valorant from here if you see Valorant I don't know where it is Hold on uh E drive E drive okay right games right client no go to Valorant live and here select valorant once it is done just hit options and choose high performance and click save you can enable this as well but you need to restart your pc and not going to do that so once you have chosen high graphics settings what you can do is go to power options power and sleep settings and click additional power settings here you can choose ultimate performance or high performance whichever you have like i am selecting here ultimate performance obviously but some of you might not be having ultimate performance so just you can click high performance this makes a bit of a difference but in laptops this might cause overheating but for pc users it's not much of a problem 
what else you can do is close all background apps which are unnecessary like if you're running uTorrent in the background and there is no download going on just close uTorrent from right here and if you are not using steam just close steam as well epic games launcher and stuff like that like if you are not using discord just hit right click and quit discord for mid -end and low end pcs discord is a really big problem if you are running something else as well on the pc like i have my laptop which has a 4 core processor and 8 gb ram and if i run valorant along with discord the game lags a lot so while i play on the laptop i do not run discord whereas on this pc i have a 6 core processor and 16 gigs of ram so not much of a problem but obviously if you are having a 4 core processor and then you might think about running discord because it is not really necessary because what you want is performance right so uh, avoid running any background apps because they cause much problem and make your cpu go up to 100 percent sometimes now the step that i'm going to show you right now is the very 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 important one so do not skip this one because this is going to give you a really big performance boost so first of all open this pc go to c drive and go to users select your username i don't know why mine is not visible then hit app data local and search for valorant here it is click saved config and open the first one go to windows and this is the one game user settings just open this and scroll down until you see scalability groups now here you will see resolution quality is set to 100 percent obviously by default it is 100 so reduce it to 70 or 80 because this is going to give you a performance boost as i already said but reducing resolution quality will make the game a bit pixelated so reducing it below 70 will make your eyes hurt a lot so 70 is the minimum 70 and 80 is the best so if you want to set it 70 nice but 60 or 50 no now view distance quality you can set it to 1 anti-aliasing you can set it to 0 shadow quality 0 post processing you can set it to 0 texture quality 0 effects quality 0 foliage 0 and sharing quality 0 once you have set everything as 71000000 go ahead and click save i'm not clicking save because i have done the same settings on my laptop but my pc can run valorant at 500 fps at max so yes i don't need to because these are all the settings i did on my laptop to get more fps and as i told you do not skip this one it is important and you will see a performance boost if you do this so uh now it is time to show you some in-game settings right so let's open up valorant okay so once the game is open what you can do is go to settings and under general just scroll down until you see corpses okay show mature content uh, so you will see show corpses what you have to do is enable show mature content and when you see this show corpses option you have to disable it because this is the cause of fps drop why because the game eats up a lot of memory when rendering dead bodies in the game so just turn it off and it will give you more fps than usual now come to video under general you will see all the resolution that you have you can set it to 120x720 no sorry 12 ugh, what am i saying 1280x720 because this is 16 to 9 so it will be full screen no issues 
and obviously FPS limit should be turned off and as you can see the settings that I have right now what you need to do is just set it to 1x and turn all these off and low 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 and multi thread rendering on obviously go to audio section and you will have enable HRTF so disable this one because yes disabling it will give you more FPS why not so these are the in-game settings and wait a second one more thing I forgot to show you what you have to do is right click Valorant shortcut and hit properties go to compatibility and disable full screen optimization for some people this may be helpful so you can try it out if this helps good if not just uncheck it click ok and so that was it for today's video guys these were the things that I did on my old laptop and PC to get better gaming experience I hope this video helps and if it does drop a like and share it with your friends thanks for watching and see you soon